the ventral anterior nucleus of thalamus the ventral anterior nucleus occupies the rostral part of the lateral nuclear mass it consists of two subdivisions the larger principal part and the smaller one is called as magnocellular part so we have two parts in this the larger one is called as the principal part and the smaller one is called as magnocellular part so the principal subcortical afferents to this region are the output fibers of the ipsilateral basal ganglia system which originate from the internal segment of the globus pallidus and its homolog the pars reticulata of the substantia nigra so these are the output fibers from the basal ganglia reaches the ventral anterior nucleus the fibers from globus pallidus terminate more commonly in the principal part which is the larger part while the fibers of the substantia nigra end in the magnocellular part which is the smaller part so this ventral anterior nucleus of thalamus has reciprocal connections with the motor region of the frontal lobe particularly supplementary motor cortices which means these efferents are to the supplementary motor cortices so this is what we need to know about uh, the ventral anterior nucleus